welcome to Vegas Live. And of course, um, we're down here at the Heartland Mansion, which is absolutely amazing. We actually film out of um, the Heartland Mansion Monday nights, which is really great. And um, I have Sean Mooneyham with me. Yes. And I was just trying to remember his name. So I'm kind of rushing it so I don't forget the name. <laughs> That's an unusual name when you said it's Irish. It's Irish, yes, ma'am. So are you Irish? Partly well, Irish. partly Irish. I was born here in Las Vegas, though. Am I not mistaken, but a lot of the Irish people come from Boston, don't they? Uh, that? That was the Irish kind of yes. settlement where they all came Yes, they went. came over during the potato famine. Oh, I don't know. See, I'm learning something. <laughs> now, Sean, you are running for City Council of 2019. Yes, in Las Vegas, in Ward Las Vegas. 3, which this property here sits in Ward 3. Oh, it does? Oh, yeah. so we've really got this together, haven't we? Oh, so. wow. Um, is it a tough... Oh, you're starting quite early because it's still 2018, but it's still not really that much time, is it? Not really. Uh, you file in January, and okay. the election is in April. Yes. So you, you can't file till January. Till January. So are you preparing yourself and are you getting the word out as to who you are and, and then you're going to be on city council. Um, what, what exactly is your motivation to do this? Well, um, I'm a native Las Vegan. I was born and raised here. Okay. And I think we need some better leadership in the city. And you think you can do that? I think I can. What makes you think you can do that of what you, what you actually want to do? Well, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I started working at 15 years old. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh, yes, I know. Customer that's like. service, people skills. <laughs> yes. And I feel that my strengths as a people person okay. will help me achieve. Also, I've, in certain jobs that I've had in the past, I've had to oversee budgets and hire and you know, do all that Hire stuff. Hire fire. <laughs> right, yes, all that stuff. Hire and fire go together, actually. And so. I believe, you know, Las Vegas, it's a great place to live. We need to, uh, you know, work on our infrastructure, marketing the city better. I was going to say, what do you feel that should be worked on? Because I've been here since, I've been coming to Vegas a long time, but I've been living here since, 20, I believe it's 2012, maybe 30, but no, 12. And um, I've seen a big difference from then till now of it expanding in a lot of, um, if I'm not mistaken, corporations coming in to town. Yes. Is that so? Yes. Um, my pledge uh, when elected is I want to look at the city budget. I want to take it line by line. Oh, you want to see where the money is going? Exactly. <laughs> where is the money going? No. Okay. I would like to do that and I would like to see if there's a way to shift some funding to help the seniors, mentally ill, and veterans. Okay. I, I agree with all three of those. Um, seniors, I've also seen since I've been here, a lot of seniors seem to come and live here. Yes. A tremendous amount of them. And and is it because, number one, they all have something to do because there's penny, penny slot machines in most hotels. Yes. Yes. So they have something they can do without spending or losing a lot of money, but they've got something to do. Mm -hmm. Also, the weather is good. Um, I, I think the pricing of housing is pretty cool, isn't it? It's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Um, you know, I think it's going to go up, you know, at the rate or something. Well, it's like everything in. goes up. Yeah, yep. the rate is. Oh, uh, the rate is. I found out where the rate is. They're building their building, which is right on Sun, on uh, Vegas Boulevard, right? Yeah, so Vegas so Boulevard. my first thing was, I'm looking at this place. I'm driving down Vegas Boulevard, and I'm thinking, okay, I love where they are, but where's the parking? Yeah. That... What, what, what gives with this parking thing? Yeah, I don't know. I didn't approve it. So. <laughs> Maybe you should have run last year. <laughs> so. By the way, a quick, quick question. Can you only run when there's a, when there's a seat comes up or, can, or when somebody's time is up? You can run when the election cycle is. There doesn't necessarily have to be a vacant seat. Doesn't have to be a vacant seat. Okay, so it's not to be a vacant seat, but they, you can, people have, what, do they run, what, two years there? Uh, I'd say uh, you're allowed uh, three, four-year terms. Three, four years? That's 12 years someone can be in. Yes. What happens if you don't like them? Well, hopefully you can run. <laughs> <coughs> I mean, I can imagine, you know, having somebody in there that you've all got to get on, right? Mm -hmm. Well, you'd have to. Mm -hmm. So what is your, your, what do you criticize mostly in the city council right now of, how many members are there? Twelve? Uh, no, I believe there is six wards. Oh, six. Only six. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, six. So... 
How and then think, the mayor, of course. Of course. How do you think it's being run? And, and <coughs> you obviously listen to it a lot, otherwise you right. wouldn't be running because you want to find out how it works and what's going on then to get your position in there. What are the things that are kind of aggravating you at the moment that you would like to see? Well, I think, especially here in Ward 3, this is a historic area. Uh, we need more, uh, you know, you need better leadership for yes. the people. So we have to keep Heartland Mansion, don't we? Yes. There's nothing could happen to Heartland Mansion. Believe me, it the should family be a go back registry. so many. Yes, and isn't it? Hopefully it is, yeah. I believe right. it is. Well, I guess that's up to the owners whether they want it mm. or whether they don't want it. That's not up to me, right. though I think it should be. Yeah, I do too. I, think I it's agree really with great. you as well. I mean, when you come to Heartland Mansion, you have no idea when you walk into the... Well, just driving by it, you know, it opens your eyes and you all say, what is that? You know, what is it? It looks fabulous. And then when you come in, you, you see all the decor and everything here is just out of this world. Have you been here before? This is my first time here. I just live down the street. <laughs> You have to get friendly with Gary Hart and get invited to more of the functions there, I'm telling you. Yeah. Get in with him. You know, maybe go buy him lunch. Yeah. <laughs> that would be a good idea. Mm -hmm. So when you, if you win, how, how, by the way, how are, you, how are you going to go about winning? Well, my campaign is a grassroots campaign, door knocking. I've been out to different functions. Okay. Uh, and just getting the word out, knocking on doors and, you know, spreading my message about, you know, I want to help the veterans, senior citizens, mentally ill. Veterans, I would, Ve veterans senior citizens, and mentally ill. But at the same time, I would, I would like to um, do some kind of tax incentive. I don't know yet the framework of it, but I would like to propose something to help. We need to bring business into Las Vegas as well. Yes, I think, I, I don't know why that has been, I, I don't think it's been a problem, but I don't think it's something they have geared into. Um, me being in real estate, I have real estate as well. I do commercial real estate, so I do a lot of uh, big buildings and things like that. But I've noticed that recently they're now starting to bring in the big companies. And I, I'd never realized why they didn't come in b before. But I think, you know, there's a time and place for everything to come you yes. know, to fruition and to come into Vegas. So I think they are stepping that way. But I'm surprised that Vegas hasn't stepped up fast. Right. I, I'm surprised because the taxes here are great. Yes. Exactly. And then any time anybody comes in, more money comes in anyway. Taxes. Mm -hmm. You build a shopping center, more taxes. Yep. So and that's your that's, that's another right. one. Um, another one, you know, I, I, again, I, I'm not sure what, the, what we can do about it, but I'd like to address all the abandoned property, all the foreclosed homes, all the, you know, when you've got a homeowner, it's not I taking... I got an idea from him. Give me the list. I'll well, help you. <laughs> well, you know, you've got these homes just sitting there. I know, and I've seen them. You get squatters and all I've the... I've seen a lot of that. Bushes, okay. everything well, I'm going to keep your card. I have your card here. Yes. I'm going to keep your card, and I'm going to call you on that, because it's funny you should say that. I have been driving around when I'm early for an appointment. I drive around, I see all these gorgeous houses with, you know, these beat-up cars in them and the... And the Windows boarded boarded up. up. And the wind, yeah, broken and everything else. And it's like, why? Um... But yeah. I think it's clearing up a little bit. A little bit. It's clearing up a little bit. But um, Vegas, what Vegas is doing, it's built an awful lot of new, you know, you've got new property going on all the all time. All the now. time. All yes, the time. all the time. And so I think a lot of people want to go into the new property because there's nothing to spend on it. It's already done. It's ready. You could just move in and you go. Whereas uh, one of these houses that are sort of, you know, derelict, whatever you want to call them, you know, they've got a little bit of work to them. But you can buy them inexpensively. Right. So that's what you want to do. You've got quite a lot on your plate. Yeah, well, a lot of ideas, we'll, we'll put it yeah, that way. Yeah, but you've got to get them out now. Yes. So now you've got to get all those ideas out. And you've already started campaigning? Or oh, yes. Getting the words. Yes. So I, you I, could start campaigning before you actually file? Yeah, I believe so. I've been helping. Well, he uh, is anyway. <laughs> I am, yeah. So I've been helping uh, uh, your next guest who's going to be on, uh, Jeff Miller. I'm been his field representative, so I've been out in the field with him. Oh, how lovely. Campaigning and to different events and such. You know more about Jeff than I do. <laughs> I never know any of my guests, which is fabulous. I've, I've just met you for the first time. Um, how can anybody get in touch with you? Uh, you can email me at uh, smmlv81 at gmail.com. You can uh, also visit my website, uh, mooneyhem4lasvegas.wordpress.com.
Okay, so don't forget to vote for him. He sounds like a great guy. And also, you're quite young in age. Yes, I am. How old are you? 36. I'm going to be 36. So we're going to get some young September. blood in. Some exactly. young blood. That's what you want. You're a voice for the people. A voice for the people. No, a voice for the younger generation. We shall be right back. Vegas Live with Nina, not the Heartland Mansion.